Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, members of God's Church. We are here yet another evening to witness what God can do beyond words and action. And that's where music comes in. We are blessed to have so many talented, gifted children of God in our congregation. This evening, you will see a little master in play to bring glory and honor to God's kingdom. This evening is a very special evening. This weekend, as we as a congregation, we listen to a beautiful sermon on how fathers can influence us for better. And this evening, Ethan Vinod is doing this concert as a tribute to a legend in their family who is no more with us. It's emotional to speak on our loved ones, especially the impact that they have left us behind. And so as Ethan plays these songs and gives praise to his maker and king, let us also remember the sacrifices of our loved ones who are no more with us. As we go further, you will get to know the person who the tribute is being made this evening. Beyond that, I also want to explicitly express here the influence of music in all of our lives. The Bible is full of praise and worship. When there was victory, men of God praised God. When people faced giants, they stood in choirs and sang praises to God. When people went through defeat one after the other, they still praised God. Even in heaven, the Bible tells us, God is constantly surrounded day and night with music. And so we are blessed this evening to have this concert. And so it is our prayer that as Ethan Vinod plays for God's glory, that God will give us hope in the midst of this crisis that we are going through, that there is yes, yet another better tomorrow. Before I invite this little genius to the front, let us bow our heads and ask God to guide us with our evening's presentation. Let us pray. Merciful God, our Father, our Maker and our King, we come to your presence this evening with our hearts filled with gratitude and praise for what you have done for us, Lord. This evening, we are here to witness another little jewel of yours to praise you, to worship you, to adore you with the talents and gifts that you have blessed him with. We thank you, Lord, for such young people in our midst who represent your kingdom so well. I pray, Lord, that you'll be with Ethan in a very special way. May all the songs that he will play this evening, may it bring honor and glory to your holy name. May it also be a balm for our broken souls that will bring us a step close to you. We also at this time, Lord, remember the sacrifices of his grandfather, a great legend in their family who has left a lasting legacy. Bless the immediate family as they're grieving the loss of their loved one. We also remember all our fathers in our midst who sacrificially do their part that we can have a better future. We honor them. We dedicate this concert to them. Come and may your spirit's intervention be in everything that is said and done today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I also want to ask you to please follow Ethan in his YouTube channel. He has a beautiful YouTube channel where music is plenteous. And so if you have time after this concert, go and follow him. You'll be blessed to listen to him even at odd times. Whenever you feel like connecting with God through piano or music, please watch his YouTube channel. You'll be blessed. Let me take this privilege, my great privilege, to introduce to you a little jewel in God's kingdom, Ethan Vinod.
All right, it's a little strange because I would have expected applause after that, but being here in an empty uh, sanctuary, there isn't much applause if you're at home. If you can applaud loud enough so that we can hear, maybe we can continue on with our program. So I'm curious, you have a mic? Yeah. All right. No, we can't hear you? <laughs> it might be a good thing. Is it on? Hello? I don't see it on. That's interesting that you say you make mistakes. So I'm curious, on a, on a scale of 1 to 10, how nervous do you get at the beginning of performances? And I'll share my mic even though we might get... Yeah. No, I don't want to share germs. Can I turn that on? Yeah, I think it's on. Yeah. All right. On a scale of 1 to 10, how nervous do you get at the beginning of performances? Uh, for today, okay. I guess it would be an 8. Okay. Usually it's like 5 or 6. OK, today it's... Yeah. And do you get more nervous as the performance goes on, or...? No, usually the audience is very receptive, and like, I feed off their calmness. And so it's, you start out yeah. nervous, and then it gets easier. Yeah, but when like, you know, you're here, it, it, it gets worse. <laughs> All right, so, so just out of curiosity, since you said you started with an 8 or out of 10 on mm -hmm. nervousness today, how many mistakes did you make in that piece? Since we're in the sanctuary... Um, <laughs> I don't know, maybe two? I mean, my piano teacher's watching, so. <laughs> All right, I'll get in touch with your dad and your piano teacher later, and we'll get the real count on that. Um, now, tell me a little more about that piece. It's, it was the Lily of the Valley right. mixed mm -hmm. with what? Edward Grieg's Piano Sonata in A minor changed to C minor, and then mixed with the Sonata Pathetique by Beethoven. All right. Um, now, it's an interesting mix of you know, yeah. classical mm -hmm. with a slightly more contemporary feel. Right. Um, where did you first hear that piece? Uh, Anthony Berger. Like, um, I, my last concert, I did m the tribute to him mm -hmm. and most of his arrangements. And uh, mo some of the songs in here are his arrangements too. And like, he, he's an absolute genius. Like the way, like, I, I, I don't know anybody who could have thought of that to okay. put those two, three mm -hmm. songs together. Yeah, so that's awesome. where I heard it. Cool. Now I see that you do have a couple more songs that are arranged by him. Mm -hmm. um, and. I think we're getting into one of those right now, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. Claire de Lune and Jesus Loves Me. Awesome.
Thank you so much, Ethan, for those two songs. Now, tell me a little more about your... Am I right next to a mic? Why am I humming? <laughs> tell me a little more about um, your influences in music and what keeps you motivated to keep working on your music. Uh, I would think the biggest motivation factor for me is uh, my dad. Uh, both physically and uh, <laughs> mentally. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I mean, I admire him a lot. He's very smart, so, mm -hmm. and I'm um, not that much sometimes. So, <laughs> uh, I'll stop breathing into the mic. Um, now, that, how, now, what do you mean by physically and, and emotionally? Were those the two words you used for yeah. your inspiration? Okay, mm -hmm, go mm -hmm. ahead. Wh wh how does he inspire you physically? Or maybe I shouldn't ask, how does he inspire you emotionally? <laughs> Um, I mean, he's very smart, so it's very hard to win an argument with him. Mm -hmm. So, I lose, and like, when you lose, like, you should learn from what you lost. So, okay. in that sense, I guess uh, I learned. And even if I disagree with him on something, like, uh, two days later, I'll probably agree with him. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. I, I hate that feeling. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Dads, yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, Father's now, dad. who forces you to practice the most, your dad or your mom? There's different ways, but both. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, in the list that I see that you gave me, I see that the real talent in your family is joining you for this next song. Yeah, so I think that's enough of an introduction. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to bring my brother Elian on stage, and he's playing the cello. Oh, wait, no, he's singing. Yeah, he's singing. <laughs> Too many towns to keep count of. So whatever you tell him to do, he'll yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. They say sometimes you win some. Sometimes you lose some And right now Right now I'm losing back Stood on this stage Night after night Reminding the broken It'll be alright But right now And I 
I know each song in this uh, concert this evening is very 
carefully selected. And so um, with the song that you did with your brother, it starts out with sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose. Right now I'm losing bad. Mm -hmm. You want to tell me why that song was part of this evening's lineup? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a very dear song to my heart. Like I fell in uh, love with it the first time I heard it. It's a fam family favorite as well. Like um, it gives a very meaningful message that is especially important in today's day and age mm -hmm. with the pandemic and all the things that are happening in the country right now. So I think it's a very appropriate message and it gives us hope that even though things might look bad and even if that uh, God doesn't come in and take away every pain, that our hope should still be in him because he's coming one day and he will do that. Mm -hmm. Now over the past um, few days, couple of weeks, you've had your own challenges of, uh, I guess, sadness in your family. Yeah. You want to share for those of, that aren't familiar? Yeah, so uh, a couple of weeks ago, my grandfather passed away. And uh, it actually, this actually ties into the next song. So I was wondering, like, what to do. Because, like, he was, he's the reason we were Adventists. And now he, him and uh, my grandmother were the ones who started the conversion. My dad was only 10 at that okay. time. So they were the reasons we came into this uh, truth and the light was shown to them. And so he's the reason, and like he did many evangel uh, evangel evangelist work, uh, translating books and into the uh, common language there from like the Great Controversy and Steps to Christ and more E.G. White books. And so like he was a very devout Adventist and okay. he like laid our family's foundational beliefs and. Uh, in Adventism and in Christ. So he was a very pivotal role in our family. All right. Um, now, now you said it ties in with our next song. Tell mm -hmm. us a little more about Yeah, so I wanted to do a tribute for my grandfather. Mm -hmm. And so I sat down and thought of the things that I could do, which is a very limited number of things anyway. <laughs> so <laughs> I thought of what to do. And I was, it's then I heard Wintley Phipps sing uh, Amazing Grace. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, before he sang it, he gave the description of how the song came into being, like how the tune was not re uh, realized by John Newton, but by uh, slaves on, on slave ships. It sounded very much like a West African sorrow chant. So, and then he tied uh, that uh, into the song and s started humming it like how uh, the slaves would have done it. And it then dawned upon me that the lyrics perfectly resolve any tensions and problems that come out through the tune. And like for tis grace that brought me this far and grace that take me home. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's one of my favorite lines in there. So I thought it was a very fitting um, song for. All right. uh, now, um, I saw your music video for this. Mm -hmm. And if, for those of you that haven't, uh, you were already directed to Ethan's YouTube channel. It is on there. But you had a few guests with you in that video. Yes. Uh, I had uh, my brother, uh, he was playing the cello, and I uh, also had Douglas, our orchestra director here, and he was very helpful with uh, uh, everything. I, I think I told him on uh, Monday, and then he sent me the audio recording that day itself, and did the video recording the next day, so like, like extremely fast, and he was busy too, so I want to thank him, and uh, I'll call both of them up on stage now. Oh good, I was wondering if you were going to do it alone, or if they were going to join you. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right.
Now, I do believe you arranged that piece that you just played? Yes, I did. All right, now, you said your music teachers are probably watching. Yeah. Oh. Tell me about your piano teachers. Uh, so I've had two piano teachers. Mm -hmm. uh, one, when I was in Houston, um, Miss Mary Lou Jacobs, she's the one who started me with piano. Okay. Yeah, with, uh, I remember, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Yeah, it was great. Um, You're not playing that tonight, though. No, I don't think I'd remember it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, she started me. She's the one who initiated this whole process. And, uh -huh. like, yeah, she still gives comments, and, like, I appreciate every single one of them. Okay. And also, since uh, for the past 10 years now, I've been studying with Miss Elizabeth White. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, she's uh, phenomenal. She's, I think she played with the Boston Pops when she was mm -hmm. 12. Okay. So she's a very accomplished pianist, and she's a great teacher as well. She uh, has taught me a lot of things and really leveled up my repertoire a lot. So uh, in honor of both of them, I'm going to play three classical songs now. Good, because I know piano teachers, and as amazing as the rest of it is, uh, they will be disappointed in you unless you do something classical. So yeah. thank you so much for honoring them with this with this section.
Just for those who aren't familiar with those pieces, what were, what were the pieces that you just played? So the first one is uh, the Nocturne in E-flat major by Chopin. Um, my Miss White played that last, mm -hmm. uh, my last concert. And then the last two were part of the Moonlight Sonata. The first one was the first movement, the last one was the third movement. All right. And now tell me a little bit about this next song that you're going to be performing. Yeah, so um, I know it's not Christmas, but uh, this song has a very nice meaning. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, uh, it's a perfect meaning for what, it's a perfect question for what, uh, most of us should be asking, like, did Mary, did Mary, did you know, mm -hmm. like, that your child was the greatest child to ever be born to save the world, that save you? Mm -hmm. So I think uh, Mark Lurie nailed it with the lyrics and the music. So, and um, the re the biggest reason is uh, I get to play with Douglas again. So you mean you mean the real reason? Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. And then we will call Douglas back up on stage. Thank you. 
Now on your YouTube channel, I noticed that you have two versions of this song. Yeah, um, one I did, uh, just solo piano, just like this, and then another one, uh, I got some new uh, orchestral sounds, mm -hmm. so I thought it would be better and more enticing to use that and create, it would invoke more emotion and make a better meaning of the song and it would better help visualize Jesus walking down the Via Dolorosa, uh, bloody and beaten on the way to pay for our sins. Okay. Now you said you got some new orchestral sounds. Yep. Uh, what do you mean by, by that? Did you arrange the orchestra as well? On yeah. The track for that? Uh -huh. So an orchestral library comes with, um, depending on which one you get, uh, it comes with full strings and full mm -hmm. uh, brass and so you can or orchestrate that and uh, I'm starting to do that now. All right, so you arranged the orchestration for that. Um, I'm assuming you arranged the piece for this as well, the piano yeah. arrangement. Mm -hmm. um, now you said Anthony Berger, Berger was a big influence on you mm -hmm. as, um, as, an, as a pianist, as an mm -hmm. arranger. I'm just curious, how many pieces this evening did you arrange yourself? Three. Uh, two I uh, played and one more. All right. Um, what is the next one that you're... Um, it's Awesome God, and uh, I spent a lot of time on this one, and I, I, I like how it came out, and uh, Douglas is going to join me for this as well. So, okay. yeah. Now, I know this is the last piece that we have for this mm -hmm. evening, and there's some people that you would like to acknowledge and thank. Yeah, first off, I would like to thank all the pastoral staff, including you and Pastor Franklin, for letting me have uh, this concert uh, tonight. Thank you to the audio and video team. Without them, this wouldn't happen. And uh, it's very essential. Thank you, especially with the virtual. Thank you for that. that and thank you for my parents. And fun fact, I, I'm pretty sure my mom knows these songs better than me. <laughs> so it's uh, a very good critic. Critic. So yeah, I want to thank both of my parents, my brother, Douglas, and uh, you. I, I mean, debating, but yeah. Just because I'm here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, and you said you had Douglas to help you with this mm -hmm. last piece. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right.
Now, I, I saw a lot going on on your computer. Um, how many tracks do you have going on for this one? Uh, for this one, most of it's hidden, but I think 47? 47. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, the first song that I ever, well, one of the first ones I ever heard you play was, again, with a track and something that you uh, performed, must have been a couple of years ago. Yeah. The Exodus, we've all seen you do that. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think that's when you burst onto our stage and we were like, whoa, yeah. okay, mm -hmm. this kid can play. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have that track on your computer? I think so, yeah. Would it be possible, f I know this is not part of the uh, lineup, but would it be possible for you to do that before we get into, I mean, before I offer the closing prayer? Yeah, just, you for, just for you. Did you do you remember it? I hope so.
you so much for obliging me. Um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, everyone, for joining us for our virtual concert. And we hope that you have been blessed this afternoon as much as those of us here have been blessed being um, in the, well, in this church, in the presence of God. Before we end our uh, program this afternoon, this evening, can I invite you, wherever you are, to bow your heads for prayer. Father God, we are so blessed by the beauty that you have placed around us. We are grateful, Lord, for your personal involvement in each of our lives, Lord. And this afternoon, as we have come to worship you, we want to recognize all of the good things that you have blessed us with, Lord, with our family, with our loved ones, with our friends, with those around us that have helped us grow into the people that we are today. Father God, we also want to recognize you for your leading and guidance in each of our lives. May we always be able to hear your voice and may we always follow your leading. We pray now, Lord, that you will fill each of us with your love so that when we go out to others, we will reflect you and your love in everything that we say and you do. we do. We thank you, Lord, for being with us here. Continue to be with each one of us. We pray for your mercies in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, thank you for joining us this afternoon. We hope that you have a blessed rest of the weekend.